What'd you say? What's, what's going on? We have Swade with us and also Mary McKay. Welcome Sorry, to the show. Sorry, he gets yeah. top billing. Well, he does. Well, he, that's all right. He I'm, sat in my lap earlier. I'm known as Swade's mom. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, Swade's a very good dog. He's a cocker spaniel, and he's just a sweet little thing. Yeah. Now, you're here to represent the Boone County Library. Well, sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Are you, are you have a program inside the, the we, library that you we, want to talk about? We've been doing the Reading Buddy program for about five years. Mm hmm and uh, we hadn't talked about it for a while, so I thought it was about time that okay. we... Okay, and it doesn't involve Swade? It does. Okay. Yes, Swade Have you taught and, Swade how to read, or uh, just to turn the pages? Absolutely, yeah. He likes to read. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Somehow I don't believe Smart that. Dog. <laughs> oh, he gets up there with the kids, and, and he looks at the pages, yeah. He does, does he? Well, well, he engages himself with it. Yes, That's he awesome. does. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Well, well, tell us the concept, why, why animals are involved with, with kids and reading. Okay, well, there have been studies that have shown that kids that have trouble reading uh, do best when they have a non, you know, they do well with dogs because dogs are non-judgmental. Mm -hmm. You know, if they make a mistake, the dogs don't care. Yeah, exactly. So, and it's like <laughs> a, you know, it's like a therapy dog situation, mm -hmm. it's a therapy situation. You know, the kids are, are just more comfortable and and they like to, you know, they like to interact with the dogs, and, and it's kind of a, a reward for them to, for, for reading. Mm -hmm. I'm sure sometimes that the animal interaction is a whole lot easier than yes. person. Yes, yes, they, they do a lot better um, because, you know, they, they have shown that, you know, kids reading to the dogs is, is more beneficial than them reading to an adult. Okay. Because, you know, the dogs aren't going to correct them. Mm -hmm. Right. They're just going to listen. <laughs> well, actually, the, the the child's in charge, right? Right. They've got the book. They're reading to yes. the dog. They, yes. they, they're in a more of a, a master's position, I would right. say. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And, and we try to do a one-on-one, -on -one, but um, we've been, it's, it's kind of hard because, you know, we're at the, then in the children's library sitting in the middle of the floor, and mm -hmm. right. we mm -hmm. have all these kids, but. Um, everybody wants to. Everybody, wants yeah. Wants to read, I'm Well, sure. you know, we've had a little problem lately. We haven't had school age kids that want to read. So we're putting out a um, you know, call for mm -hmm. parents, bring your kids. Okay. You know, um, because you know, if the parents don't get them there, you know, it's after school <laughs> on the second Thursday of the month, we do that. And um, so we, you know, we, we kind of, we have a good time. Uh, last Thursday we had seven dogs, six people, and probably about ten kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that worked out so pretty good. So you got a one-on-one -on -one yeah. there probably. <laughs> yeah, we, we, did, we did a lot. Unfortunately, some of them were preschool kids. Now, the dogs that come, are they yours? No. Are they no, we have, that we, have, uh, we have several people who bring dogs. Um, Terry Gregory brings her two standard poodles. Jan Turner bring, brings her two mixed-breed large dogs. And um, then we have uh, Teresa, who has a, a whippet type and, and a little Maltese. A what? A whippet? A whip, well, she's not a whippet. She's a whippet mix type thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, she's real mixed breed, but she looks more like mm -hmm. a whippet than anything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she's really good. Mm -hmm. And then we have the little Maltese. And um, then last week, Buddy, my other cocker, got to go. So, <laughs> well, so we had a crowd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, do you, do you do this for what, for what age group? Um, well, yeah, I know you said you had uh, some preschool we kids have, there. We've had some preschool kids, and you know we can. But you prefer kids to read. We read to the group, right. Read. right? Yes, yes. You know, like first grade to on up. We don't yeah. care any any age. We have teenagers who come and mm -hmm. you know have a good time, mm -hmm. and and we just you know we just have a a, a good. And this happens how often? Uh, once a month. Once a month. The okay. second Thursday. After school. After school, it's like three forty-five to four thirty. Mm -hmm. Okay. And actually, anybody can come, right? Anybody can come. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We have some parents that kind of <laughs> help out a little bit. Yeah. Help out a little bit mm -hmm. sometimes. Now, do the parents yeah. ever get to read? Sometimes. They, okay. We've had we've had them, you know, bring their toddlers and stuff, and yeah. the kid, the parents will actually, you know, sit there and read too. Mm -hmm. so. And how do you how do you pick the the book? Um, I mean, is it, is you know, it like a preschool book? book? I mean, an elementary yeah. book? or? Well, we, we find the smallest books we can find. <laughs> the smallest books you can find, okay. You mean as, as far as pages? It's pages. With, well, do these books have pictures in them? Well, some of them do. Okay, well, some that's the them. kind of books I like to read. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, we try to find, you know, dog related what? stories or, you well, know, something. But you don't, you don't want like a, you know, a, this thing. Yeah. A novel. <laughs> how about not Harry Potter? Or <laughs> yeah. you, want, you want to get through the story. <laughs> right. And, and, and how long does it last? An hour or so? Or? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's okay. a good exercise for kids, for sure, to, to I mean, like, you know, you said there's studies done on even mm -hmm. reading, and, and you want to promote reading with younger kids. Right, and, right. With any kids, actually. Right, right. Well, this kind of opens up, opens up a Pandora's box. What if somebody wants to bring their dog? How well, does that work? Well, it does. Have to be invited? We, yeah, we have to, we have to invite okay. them. They have to go um, through the doggy screening process. Yes. They have to be yes. uh, crowd oriented, I guess. Right, they have to be, they have to, they have to like children, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, our dogs like everybody. You know, we go to the nursing homes, we go to um, schools, we mm -hmm. go everywhere. So, um, you know, we're we're well, they're they're most, mo mostly, um, you know, we do some some therapy dog training, and you know, they have to be appropriate, you know, temperamentally. Right. Um, you know, they also. You know, they, they don't require that they be therapy dogs. Of course, Suede is a certified therapy dog. Mm. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. How so, do you go through that process? Uh, it's a test. Does he have to be trained in, in yes. certain ways? Okay. Yes. Yes, he has to has to have manners. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Basically, uh -huh. you know, I mean, they, um, they, they do a whole test. It's kind of like the canine good citizen, um, which is that's, that's part of the test. Yeah. Um, you know, they have to be able to uh, walk by other dogs. They have to, you know, be friendly with people. Mm -hmm. um, they have to be able to walk by food, right. <laughs> yeah. which is a challenge for him. But, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. but he did. He did. <laughs> they have to curb their going. instincts. That's right. Sometimes. Yes, yes. Okay. They have, in, to, in they have to go through a training, you know, just okay. a basic obedience training yeah. and, and different things like that. But, mm -hmm. yeah, we do a lot of. A lot of that, and uh, well, awesome. Well, again, <laughs> the um, reading buddies is which Thursday? The second, the, second Thursday, Thursday of, the of the month. Well, we tried doing the fourth Thursday, but everything seems to happen on the fourth Thursday. <laughs> so you stuck with the second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, we we then we did the second and the fourth, and we were there more on the second. Thursday than we were the fourth Thursday because you know the parades happen and the, you right. know everything seems to mm -hmm. happen on the fourth Thursday so we decided that was really the best day okay and um, you know and, and we also um, also want to throw out that if there's any teachers out there who would like us to come and help you would come to the school come mm -hmm. to the schools um, and and do reading. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a great way for the kids to learn about dogs, too. Right, right, yeah, and we, we do that, too. I mean, we, yeah. we do go to the schools, and we do talk about dogs and dog safety mm -hmm. and, you mm -hmm. know, things like that. We do uh, anything you can do with dogs, we do. <laughs> All right. Well, how can they find out more? Do they call you directly? They or? can call me okay. um, at 365-5841 um, okay. or uh, Terry Gregory at 741-9357. And uh, or you can call the library. Okay, they'll know about it then. Uh, the, okay. the library. Well, yeah. They, yeah. So yeah. Okay. Well, I want to let people know that you're you're part of our deal club. Yes. As a business, you're part of a yes. deal, deal club. If I haven't oh, talked okay. about a little bit about that, is we we ask business people out there to right. uh, offer special deals to our viewers. Right. And you stepped up and said that you'd offer what was it ten ten percent off no, or well it's ten dollars or is it ten dollars off of, okay. uh, fifty dollars worth of service um, for boarding or in home. Okay, so that's more than ten percent. Which means she will board your animal or she will come to your house and look after that's your right. animal. Exactly. So, okay. <laughs> With way. a special discount. And what you need to do is uh, if you want to take advantage of that, just tell Mary that you saw her here on 726 or just mention the Deal Club. That's right. The Hometown just, TV just, Deal Club. Yeah. And I think... Hello. Yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> I think he's wanting part of the action. Now. <laughs> You've had he had enough of limelight. He always wants, yes, yes. Well, Mary, thanks for being here. Well, thank, thank you for having and me. Thank, and uh, people need to get involved in that. They can call the library or just call you That's personally. right. They can call me um, if there's, like I said, if there's a teacher out there that would like us to come and help, you know, with the kids reading, um, you know, we could do that They're on a regular basis. So. And, um, you know, Swade and I are pretty much always available. 
Okay. Um, you know, some of the other people mm -hmm. have to work and, you know, their schedules aren't quite as okay. good, but, you know, I'm pretty flexible, so, um, you know, that, or, you know, anything else, or we do uh, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, um, do about anything. And if, if you have a, have a group out there. That could be a great that, program if you're someone sure. that, you know, has programs in your right. clubs or whatever. Yes. This would be a, a yes. really good program. Yes, yes, and we have mm -hmm. done, we've done several Boy Scout groups, Girl Scout groups. Um, we did a, uh, uh, a project, a pet project for a Girl Scout troop a couple of years ago. They got their, um, got their pet badge. So. Good deal. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and your group may benefit from this too, just to give Mary a. Mary Cole. Yeah, that's right. right. Thanks, Mary. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right. This way. Yes. Let's take a break, and uh, John Burnside is here to talk about different things from the Claude Parrish Radiation Therapy Institute, and I think some uh, post information about the pink out. Stay with us. Is that right? Pink out, yeah.